Kazuhiko Inada has produced this beautiful publication called Japanese Sword. The Japanese Sword, a treasure celebrated for over a thousand years. And look at this. So you take off the card slipcase cover and inside is a beautiful flexi cover with really incredible paper. An insert there in French, a French translation on an insert. And look at the colour. It's like a foil. And, of course, it's kind of back to front <laughs> because I picked it up the wrong way out. So it's like that. So it starts at the back, but you can read it like an English person. There is Japanese text throughout, as well as English. In this edition, it's thick with gatefold pages like this with black backgrounds of these gleaming sabres and exquisite designs like a grapevine with gold lacquer applied. I hope you get an impression there of the spectacular nature of this book. There are gatefolds and 45 um, Japanese swords studied in great detail with 35 accessories and handles. And we learn that in the text that there have been many smiths living around the Imperial Palace providing swords in Kyoto since the oldest times and that the most prestigious were the Awatachu Juchi school, which began with six brothers. There are explanations of the inscriptions and motifs, like the ox carriage loaded with straw rice, the rabbit and the bamboo grass design, moon, streams, clover, characterful monkeys and other objects. A beautiful publication. It's uh, published at £60 and through bibliophilebooks.com it's just £25. The Japanese Sword.